Hello guys and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use this little node here in a geometry node. This is called the scene time node and it's actually really an important node. There's a lot you can do with it. So I'm going to be covering how to drive displacement when you play the animation um, using the scene time. And then the second example I'm going to show you is this one over here. And that is how to make something grow on a certain axis over time with the transform also using the scene time node and this is a really really powerful little node it's something that's going to help you a lot when it comes to doing animation inside of geometry nodes so even though this is a small tutorial covering just a basic uh, covering just a very basic approach i think this is something that's really going to teach you a lot definitely keep watching you're going to learn a lot about the scene time node so with a new scene in blender what we're going to do is we're going to select the default cube let's just go over to our geometry nodes workspace and if this cube active, let's just go new and create a new geometry system here. And for a demonstration, let's get something with more sub uh, more details. We're going to go shift A. We're going to go search and we're just going to type in sphere. And we're going to get a UV sphere and place it over here. So now this is going into the geometry output node. So let's move this one over to the side. And let's create some displacement here that we can um, eventually drive with our time node. So we're going to simply go shift a search and get a set position so that we want to move the geometry around or manipulate it we use a set position place it over here and all we're going to do is we're going to take this offset so it can offset our mesh here so take that just drag this cable out and then you're just going to type in noise and get a noise texture and you're going to see it's displacing this it's offsetting these points um, but one thing we can do is it's actually offset it all to the side because it's taking each one of these axes here. It's multiplying it by 0.5. So that's what it's using. So if we want to set it back into the um, position here in the middle, we can go shift a search and just type in vector and get a vector math node, place it on here. And then we simply have to make this a subtract and then subtract on all three of these axes by a value of 0.5 and then we have it placed in the center now if you want to control the scale of this all you have to do or, or at least the strength of it all you have to do here is just duplicate this vector math node place it over here and let's just change that to scale and now you have a nice way of controlling that strength so let's just make it something like 0.7 and then over here in the scale let's make it 0.2 so now we have this kind of displacement as you can see here but now what we want to do is we want to be able to animate this over time. So I'm hitting the spacebar now and nothing's happening. So over here, under the noise um, texture, and this is something that's very handy to learn. If you change it from 3D to 4D, the fourth dimension we're dealing with here is time. So 3D, we just have the three dimensions. 4D gives us time as a dimension. And now we have this um, new option over here, the W. If you now take that and you just drag on that, now you can type in time and you get the scene time node and by default it's going to plug in the seconds which means every second it's going to update if you take your if you hit the spacebar now you can see we have this happening if you were to take the frames it's going to update every frame instead of every second and because there are 24 frames in a second it's obviously a lot faster so let's just go with seconds now this is all good but what if you wanted to control the speed of this Let's just use a math operation. We're going to go shift A. We're going to click here on search and type in math. Let's get a math node, not a vector math, but a math. Place it on here. And now what you can do is you can just go to multiply. And now if we make this value here smaller, like 0.1, whatever value is coming out of here, it's getting multiplied by a small value. Therefore, it's really slow. If we make this something like one, all of a sudden it's a lot faster. We can drag that up a lot more till it gets ridiculous. So that is something that's very handy. Let's just go with 0.5 for now. And there you can see a very good example of how we can drive displacement over time using the scene time node. So that's example number one. What I'm gonna do next is show you guys another example. So I'm gonna just stop by hitting the spacebar. Let's just take our group output here and just go control right click and just drag through it to disconnect it. Now let's go shift a search and just get another sphere and let's just plug this uv sphere into here creating a new system here and let's go shift a search and just do a simple thing here we're going to just type in transform get the transform node 
And here you can see, this is very easy. We can scale along the different axes. We can rotate around the different axes and we can um, translate it, moving it around. Pretty much anything we can do over here under our transforms by default of our geometry nodes. But the thing here that we want to do, let's say, if, say for example, over time, we wanted this to grow along something like the Z axis. So what we can do, we can separate these. So we can take the scale here and because we don't have a way of individually plugging a value into one of these directly for the scale. So if we just, so what we're going to do, we're going to grab the scale and just drag on it. And we're going to type in combine. And we're going to get a combine X, Y, and Z. And now you can see it disappears because all of these vectors are at zero. So we're going to take the top two and make them one. And now you can see it's perfectly flat because the Z doesn't have anything. But what we can do with the Z here, instead of dragging that up, what we can do is we can take this drag on the Z and then drag it over and let's just type in time and let's get the scene time and now what's going to happen if we hit the spacebar over time it's going to update that value so now if we hit the spacebar it's going to grow um, infinitely in that axis but what you can do as well if you wanted to control that um, so let's just hit shift left arrow button to go to the um, beginning of our timeline and what you can do is you can come over here and go shift a search and get a math and place another math node in front of here. And now what you can do is you can come here and once again multiply, and then you can change this value over here. So if we make it a smaller value, you can see here it's happening very slowly. If we make this a bigger value, you can see it happens very quickly. And the faster we make this, it just becomes much, much faster. So this is something really handy that you can use. And I hope that this is something that you guys can um, you know, practice a little bit. The scene time node, um, it's just this little node that you might have seen, but it has a lot of potential. There's a lot of different ways you can use this. I am just touching the surface here when it comes to using the scene time node, but I hope this is a little introduction to it. I hope you guys are having a good time. Check out some of my other content and you can even check out some of my other channels in the description below. I'll see you guys next time for another Blender tutorial.